Hi, let us solve this linear equation for x. In this question, we will try to find out the value of x. So we have two fractions here, x upon 2 and x upon 3 minus 2 and this is equal to 8, right? So there are actually two ways to solve this equation, linear equation. Let us see first approach here, approach 1. So here we will solve these fractions first x upon 2 plus x upon 3. Let us write it down. For this we need to find out LCM of 2 and 3. So LCM of 2 and 3 is 6. Right? Now we need to make denominator of both these fractions to 6. Right? So let us see how we do it. x upon 2 we have to make the denominator to 6. So what I am going to do x upon 2 multiply both numerator and denominator by 3 so that at the numerator I have 3x and at the denominator there is 6 right. Same way for x upon 3 we have to make the denominator 6 so x upon 2 multiply sorry x upon 3 multiply this time we are going to multiply numerator and denominator both by 2. So that at the numerator we have 2x and at the denominator we have 6. 3 multiplied by 2 is 6, right? So now this is very easy to add x upon 2 plus x upon 3. For x upon 2 we can write 3x upon 6 and then we have a plus sign. For x upon 3 we can write 2x upon 6. Now this is very simple to add. At the denominator's place we have 6. And at the numerator's place we have 3x plus 2x, right? And this is going to be 3 and 2, 3 plus 2 is 5, x and 6, right? So the sum of x upon 2 plus x upon 3 is 5x upon 6. So our equation is going to be for x upon 2 plus x upon 3, I am going to write 5x upon 6. This is going to be 5x upon 6. Then we have minus 2, this is equal to 8, right? Let us solve this on the next slide. Okay, so we are solving approach 1. We just saw that x upon 2 plus x upon 3 is 5x upon 6 minus 2 is equal to 8, right? Now try to remove minus 2 from left hand side. What shall we do? Let us write it down 5x upon 6 minus 2 is equal to 8. I have to remove minus 2. What I am going to do I will add plus 2. Because I am adding 2 on the left hand side so I have to add 2 on the right hand side as well. So that this equation will remain same right. So this plus 2 and this minus 2 will cancel each other and what we have is 5x upon 6 is equal to 8 plus 2 is 10, right? Now I have to remove 6 from the denominator. What we are going to do? 5x upon 6 is equal to 10. 5x upon 6 is nothing but 5x divided by 6, right? So in order to remove 6, we have to multiply 5x upon 6 with 6 right and because we have multiplied on the left hand side we have to multiply on the right hand side as well so this 6 and this 6 will cancel each other now we have 5x is equal to 10 multiplied by 6 is 60 right now our next job is going to be remove 5 from 5x how we are going to do it 5x is equal to 60 now i have to divide both sides by 5, right? So that this 5 and this 5 will cancel each other, and what we have is so this 5 and this 5 cancel each other, and we have x is equal to 60 divided by 5, right? 60 can be written as 12 multiplied by 5, and 5 is going to be here at the denominator's place. So this 5 and this 5 is cancelling each other, and x is 12. This is what we got. This is the answer. So in this linear equation we got that the value of x is 12. Right? 
this is the answer like i said before there is one more way to find out the value of x let us see how we do that i will write here approach 2 okay in this method we are going to first remove minus 2 from left hand side and after that we are going to solve this fraction okay so let me write it down x upon 2 plus x upon 3 minus 2 is equal to 8 and in order to remove minus 2 from left hand side i am going to add 2 both the sides because value of the equation should remain same that's why we have added 2 both the sides this plus 2 this minus 2 will cancel each other and this is going to be x upon 2 plus x upon 3 is equal to 8 and 2 is 10 right now this is very simple we have to again we have to take lcm of 2 and 3 which is 6 and at the numerator's place we found that this is nothing but 5x right we have seen this in the earlier slide let me move it back yes so we have seen that x upon 2 plus x upon 3 and the value of this is 5x upon 6 right this is what we have written here 5x upon 6 is equal to 10 right now the equation is very simple 5x upon 6 we are going to multiply both the sides by 6 so that we remove 6 from the denominator in the left hand side right so this is going to be 5x is equal to 10 multiplied by 6 is 16 now we need to follow the same process in order to remove 5 from 5x let us divide both sides by 5 this 5 and this 5 will cancel each other and we have x is equal to 60 can be written as 12 multiplied by 5 and at the denominator's place we already have 5 this 5 and this 5 will cancel each other and what we got is 12 right so in both the ways we found that the value of x is 12 and this is the answer okay hope you understood how to find the value of x in in a linear equation where we have fractions as well right in my next video i will bring more complex examples thank you for watching